When we think of the parks, we think of how do we improve a neighborhood. And in every neighborhood, people like to go to the park. They find something that a park has to offer that they can take their children. I just come and sit and read a book, or watch the dogs run. And so that's a good thing for Hillsborough County. We're continuing to hit grand slams for our parks and rec department. Candidly, I received an email one day from a a single woman that had two young children and she said, hey, is there anything we can do to bring them a little more current uh, amenities to uh, this mango area? I got with uh, Rick Valdez, our park director, does, and his staff, they really do an amazing job. And he said, you know, that'd be a great idea. And so we had a couple of community meetings, got input on what needs existed, what amenities that the community was interested in. And we ended up uh, prioritizing those and identifying uh, this unbelievable park here as the space where it should go. And then I went to our staff and was able to secure the funding for a little over a million dollars. And now you can uh, see what's here a, a couple years later. I've been with Parks and Recreation for 25 years, and this is the site that I started my first full time uh, position at with Parks and Recreation. And you know, when Commissioner Hagen championed for us to do a destination playground in the Sefton Mango community, we knew that this would be a great spot. We have a very vibrant after school program here. We have beautiful picnic shelters here now. We have a brand new basketball court with LED lights. We have the sidewalks that go all the way around the playground to make them more accessible. You know, no longer are we having the, the sand playgrounds with the high borders where people can't step into. Anyone can access this playground. And with all the other amenities we're adding together, this is really that centerpiece for the Mango Sefton community.